Hi everyone, welcome once again to Cooking with Tita. Today I would like to share my cornbread recipe. So come on, cook with Tita and let's go through our ingredients. First and foremost, I am going to address my um, half cup of room temperature butter, okay? Unsalted butter that is, and skillet. Now, if you don't have any skillet, you can use baking pan, nine inch baking pan, okay? All you have to do is coat this with the butter that you're going to use so that your um, cornbread won't stick in there. But today, I'm using a skillet, iron skillet that is. And as we speak right now, I am preheating my oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So, with all that being said, before I go on with other ingredients, I'm going to show you how to um, prepare our unsalted room temperature butter. Let's go and melt this butter on our skillet. We're going to kill two b birds at once, okay? Let's go. We want that just medium, okay? When I say two birds at once is because we need to coat our skillet. So in this way, while you were melting the butter, we're coating our skillets, right? Instead of um, melting this butter in our microwave. We're gonna have to melt the butter anyhow, right? So, let's use the noggin. <laughs> or, let's use the common sense, correct? Now, as you can tell, our skillet, it's already... Oh, there we go. It's indicate that our oven is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, preheated. So now, it's almost melted, okay? So, we're gonna turn this off now, okay? And continue, melt the butter. And that way your um, butter, it won't be too hot. You won't be waiting for a long, long time before you can put it in your mixture because you have to slightly cool it off, you know, not too, not too um, hot because, you know, we're using baking powder, baking soda. You don't want that to um, kill the, um, the leavening or our baking soda and our baking powder because once the baking soda and baking powder gets heated up that's where the reaction happen you understand what i'm saying that's the uh you know um ri rising of our bread or our whatever we're um using the baking soda or baking powder okay you understand what i mean i hope you do <laughs> so okay so there you go see we killed two birds at once. We melted our butter, and then now, check this out. Now, we're going to put that in here, right here, okay? It's already coated, right? Okay? So now what we're gonna do, while we're mixing our ingredients over there, this is being cooled off, we're going to put the skillets in here. And by the way, my rack, it's in the middle okay 400 degrees fahrenheit that is okay so now we're going to do uh, the rest of our ingredients come on okay so the rest of our ingredients are okay one cup of all purpose flour goes over here one cup of corn yellow corn goes in here half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to put that in here, okay? One or three tablespoon of brown sugar. Now, 
I want my cornbread a little sweet. Hint of sweetness, okay? So I put three tablespoons of sugar. Now, if you, if you don't want any sugar, that's your uh, choice, okay? But I want my um, bread a little sweeter, okay? So if you want, you can just put one um, tablespoon or not at all. So that's that in there, okay? I am going to whisk that in here together be sure that is mixed thoroughly in other words well mixed okay the only reason why i like to use brown sugar with my baking or cooking because you know it's healthier for you and also i like the the taste okay here we go remember that we made buttermilk if you don't want to make buttermilk yourself you can go ahead and buy it in the store okay but for me since i have all the ingredients i can make it myself a uh, substitute because they're kind of pricey but that's up to you okay i already show it to you how you make it the video is gonna be there for you okay so we're gonna make a little well over here like so and we need two eggs in here. Okay, so two eggs. And then we're going to put the buttermilk. Now we're gonna mix our mixture over here, right? Okay, when you mix this, just mix it enough to be moist okay all right so now it's well blended right now right and we're gonna put our now when i say uh slightly or cold off right not too hot okay when you put your hand in here it's it's not gonna hurt okay it's almost but not not quite room temperature okay so that's what i'm trying to say okay because you don't want to put um extremely hot butter in here you understand what i mean okay so and then we're going to mix this just enough to mix well mix that is don't over mix your thing just kind of um mix it enough to combine okay i like to just kind of swirl it around and while i'm uh, mixing my um mixture i would cut it like like so okay all right so now it's well blended or mixed we blend it nicely okay now we are going to take this over there and we're gonna pull out our skillets now let's go and um do that okay we're going to take out the skillets and we're gonna have to pour that in there so be careful when you take it out remember it's 400 degrees fahrenheit and it's really really hot so you want mittens oh man let me tell you the the aroma the butter aroma oh wonderful we're going to put this in here and it's oh my, the aroma of the butter oh wonderful in uh, you know as we put that in here the skillet it's kind of shh you know it's been preheated that's why now you want to bake this bread until the top of your bread it's nice and brown or until the toothpicks or the wooden sticks when you stick it in the middle comes out really really clean no dough i'll show it to you we're gonna start this 35 minutes okay we'll check okay back in here 
okay in the middle there we go we're gonna start 35 minutes and then we'll check okay 35 minutes it's done we're gonna check our delicious smelling bread corn bread oh man oh man if you just have a smell vision guys this is so smelling so delicious let me see Ooh, 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 nice and golden. See it? Nice and golden. Let me poke it in the middle. Oh, nice and cracky. You see, that's indication that's probably done. And also, you hear it? Oh, man, this is going to be good. Okay, so anywho, poke it in the middle. See, clean as a weasel, okay? <laughs> All right, this is a cornbread. This is this is different. Um, this is how the bread, cornbread, just uh, supposed to be. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, so in other words, make the story short. It's done. It is done. So we're going to turn off our oven. Get him out. Oh man, uh, so 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 smelling delicious. Okay, we are done. Let it cool off over here, or you can serve it now, whatever you want. It's done. All right, let's go and um, cut our cornbread. So you can go ahead and uh, serve this with your dinner or whatever. Let me get the amount desire I want. Look at this, guys. Can you see that? Mm. Can you see the bottom? Nice. Look at that not dry but moist okay all right and then you can put sour cream and put some um scallion green onion that is now if you're gonna serve this bread um you know nice and hot it would be easy for you to uh, spread this um thing but i choose to um let it cool off so now let's taste my um cornbread Oh my goodness, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's so delicious and airy and moist at the same time. And you can really, really taste the, the corn. It's so, so good. Okay. And then, you know with this um green so perfect so perfect mm. yum okay this is from my garden colored green kale and perfect accompanied with black eye beans so delicious so delicious soul food okay this is not expensive to do healthy for your body Oh my goodness, everything is just delicious. Okay, so that's all there is to it, guys. You can make this bread, corned bread, that is, so easy, delicious, so healthy for you. And I hope you like my recipe, guys. Enjoy until I see you again here in my kitchen, guys. Until you cook again with Tita. And as I always say, bon appetit. Bye.